Okay, hello YouTube. WPG Boy 77. I just got the Tamiya trailer. Just a van trailer. This is it here. And I'm going to show you what it comes with out of the box. I pulled everything out of the box already. It's just the packaging now. We got this. here. Take a look at this puppy here. A couple staples in there. Okay. This is some hardware. all this goodies for us to put it together with. <clears throat> it's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff. That's Tamiya though, they're very detailed. They try and make it as real as they can. This is uh, this is what we got out of that little box there. So, got our nuts and bolts. Oh, it's for the for the wheels here. Shocks, brackets. This is kind of neat. Even comes with uh, little chalk blocks for the back wheels and I'm guessing this is probably some Loctite in there and even a, a wheel wrench so that's kind of cool. So that's our first box. Okay, got box uh, box number two here we're going to go through. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got our decals here. It's got everything that you may or may not want to use for the for the trailer here. That's our decals. We got uh, a lot of reading. <laughs> and our uh, instruction manual gives you an idea of what you're going to need to put this trailer together and then uh, just a step by step. On how you get it done. Oh, yeah. well, let's open up this box here. All right. Got our uh, our rims. Oh, they're there. Rims. Tires. Some of the plastic parts looks like uh, some of the ribs for inside the trailer here, and you know some of that stuff. I got here fenders, some more parts here. I'm assuming this is for the for the hitch. Another. Got your landing gear for your trailer in there, and some other miscellaneous stuff. Signal light covers and brake light covers. So that's what we got in this box. Let's see what else we got here. knife out, do a little cut. You want to be careful if you're cutting the stuff. You don't want to cut in too deep and scratch it or anything. Ooh, here we go. All right. Looks like we got our, uh, our frame rails here. Here's uh, 
Here's some frame of the undercarriage of the truck, the trailer. Everything's got some plastic on it so it doesn't get scratched. That's good. And these are our sheets. One of them's going to be a sheet for the bottom and then the sides of the trailer. And very nice. Very nice. What you want to do is you want to actually take every piece out, inspect it, make sure that there is no damage on it or excessive scratching because you don't want to buy a brand new trailer and put it together and either have pieces missing, you should make sure all the pieces are there, go through your list, or damaged. So, I'm going to pull out the instruction guide now and uh, I'm going to start putting this thing together. Okay, here's a layout. You're going to need some tools. It gives you an idea of what to, what to have. And better off just getting that all ready before you start. So you're not running around after looking for stuff. This is Picasso. He's going to help me today. So if you hear yelling and screaming, real loud chirping, that's this guy. Say hi. Okay. Well, we'll go from here. Okay. What I went ahead and did is I took the parts I'm going to need for my first step. Step one, I got them out and the screws from the bag B, I went ahead and separated them and made sure they were all there. In the back of your book there is a count for each bag and what's supposed to be in it. And if you have trouble with the size of screws and you're not sure when you read in your front you need BB2 so you look for BB2 okay that's what the screw looks like take the screw and place it on the paper these are this will show you the screw yeah that is my screw it doesn't fit on any of the other pictures properly you know it's not right so that's how you can tell your screws you can use this legend in the back to find out if you don't know and there is different type of screws this is called a pan head screw it's because the head of the screw is like a pan if you turn it upside down when you have this is more of a flat head screw. So you really have to make sure you, you have the proper hardware for the section you're doing. So I went ahead and I separated my screws in the box here. You're better off putting it in something that they're not going to roll out of and lose them because then you're in a whole other headache. So we're going to go with step one. I got my rails. It calls for one of each. These, these rails were wrapped in the red tape. They're two different styles. They're the same length, but on the holes, these extra holes in one. So you need one with these holes and one without. That's what it shows in the instruction and then you go ahead and make your pieces. It's calling for these. These are going to be the corners of the frame. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to show you how to read the parts list here. Or how to read pretty much decoding it. It says 
x6. Well, x is this quadrant of parts. There's an x. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's an x right here. That means you want x and you want part number 6. This is part number 6. All these. So what I do is, you can either use a knife to cut them out, or just give them a wiggle. Looks like I'm using a knife. If you are using a knife, be careful, obviously. And once I have my part out, sometimes there's a little touch of plastic left from where they're connected. And I like to get rid of that completely so you can't see it. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for all my little parts I'm using right now and start assembling. Okay, we got these parts put together. Okay, well we got our next step complete. This is going to end up being the bottom of the the container. This is supposed to get peeled off. I didn't peel this off because I'm going to be running this thing outside a bit and I figure I'll just leave it on there to protect it a little bit. You're never going to see it anyways. And if I ever want to decide to peel it off I'll just cut along the edges here peel it off and whatever Well, I got one of the landing gear finished here. The way these work is spring loaded mechanism right here. Okay, so I've completed it this far. I ended up tearing the blue pack packaging sticker off because it's just going to be a pain in the butt to try and get it off after. Uh, got the frame on. I've put together the landing gear. That's how these work. And then uh, spring loaded to retract. That's how that works, and we're just about to get to the next step. Okay, YouTube, here's a little update. Been working on this thing for a few hours now. I'm at the point where I'm just finished putting the leaf spring suspension together. Just about to mount these where they have to go. It's coming along. Make sure you read your book because it's a lot of work.
Well, I got it put together. I didn't put stickers on it because I'm going to probably do some airbrushing on the side of it.